Abdullah ibn Shakhir, may Allah be pleased with him, said that I went to a room when the Prophet was praying, alayhi salam, and I heard to his chest a noise similar to the noise when you have a pot on fire and it's boiling. So, he's crying, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He's weeping. Why would you do such a thing? Because when you remember Allah Azza wa when you remember the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you remember that Allah has created all this universe which does not mean anything at the greatness of Allah Azza wa and it is nothing compared to the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I as an individual, I am nothing at all compared to this huge universe, let alone compared to the greatest of Allah Azza wa When you pray in the middle of the night, and you recollect, or that is recall your sins, your shortcomings, the things you've done to others, the things that you have done towards uh, to Allah the Almighty, and you feel how small and humiliated you are standing in front of Allah Azza wa praying and asking for forgiveness, you cannot help but to cry. Likewise, when you ask Allah Azza wa for forgiveness, when you're prostrating or you're making dua, if it comes from the heart, it rips your heart out because you know how bad you were and you still are and you don't know how Allah Azza wa is going to conclude your life. So you keep on praying, you keep on uh, uh, feeling this submissiveness and humility to Allah Azza wa and you cannot help but to cry. And that is why this is a little bit difficult. Why? Because you may try it for a year or two and nothing happens. But if it does happen, then you are among the fortunate one. That is why you're encouraged to try and make it happen by faking it for a few years, trying to convince yourself that you're crying out of the fear of Allah Azza wa And then Allah may bless you by making it and transforming it into sincere fear of Allah and crying. So what's the benefit if I cry and, 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 and a, a, a tear falls from my eye. The Prophet said والسلام, that there are two eyes would not see hell, meaning if my eyes will not see hell, then I would not be admitted to hell altogether, which means that definitely I'll be in paradise. And one of them was an eye that remembered Allah Azza wa Jal and tears came out of it. So fearing Allah Azza wa Jal and crying out of this fear is a carte blanche that you will not enter hell and you will go to paradise with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. So yes, if you can force yourself, if you can fake it and, 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 and pretend that you are doing this out of the fear of Allah, it would gradually turn into real and genuine fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. Subhanallah adada ma khalaqa fil ard Subhanallah adada ma bayna dhalik